Good day, everybody. Um, I'm using the word good day because I don't know what time it is, where you are, or when you're watching this video. Um, I just want to contribute. Maybe my contribution does not mean anything to anyone, no problem. But I will say my 10 Kobo, 10 cent advice. 10 Kobo advice. I want to talk about this issue of Odogu and Aisha. Because before I used to post it, you know, I used to, you know, update you guys. But I decided to stop the update. But I decided to stop the update. I, I decided to stop to stop following them. I unfollowed them actually. Because what I find what they are doing as childish. They are beginning to look like children to me. The both of them have their own, you know, Skoska. In the beginning, I always blamed Aisha. In the beginning of this particular issue about this baby DNA and all those rubbish they are talking about. I was blaming the woman. Sometimes you have to stand and say it the way it is. Don't say because she's your fellow woman. You tend to hide the truth. And stand in for what is not the truth. So, talking about this issue, eh? <laughs> you know, when that beginning time, what I used to ask myself is the reason why you packed your things and left your husband's house is simply because a, some women came from wherever they came from with a child telling you that that is the child of your husband. Because he didn't tell you that's the reason why you packed your things in his absence and left. You left with his son. That's the most stupid thing any woman can ever do. She, in fact, for that action she took, she's very, very senseless. You know why I say she's senseless? You are, you are leaving your husband's house for a crime you, they claimed he committed. I'm using the word claim because me, I don't know if it's true. Whether he is, that is his own, or he's just acting, they're acting, whatever it is. But you are leaving your matrimonial home simply because of, a child they claim he had before he married you. Before. Before he met you. Before he married you, he had that child. It's not like you guys are in a relationship when he went and had an affair outside with someone else. It's not like he married you already and he was sleeping outside. They, it's not, that's not the, the situation. The story is the child that came out of a relationship he had before he met you so you're leaving your matrimonial home because of the crime or the the offense or the 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 should i call the the thing your husband did before he married you ah if they open your own book would they be able to see pages empty pages it will be filled with dirty secrets but because his own came out and the woman in question, the ex-girlfriend in question, refused to terminate the life of that little child. She chose to give that child an opportunity to live. That is why you have your mouth to talk. Who knows how many you must have aborted and thrown in the bin? You don't, nobody knows. Nobody knows. But because yours is not visible, that is why you have mouth to rant and yeah he did this he did that he should come and do a dna are you no are you not listening to yours who is advising who is your advisor he should come and run a dna test you are busy in the village dying in pain in your heart emotional pain you are dying in fact that's the worst thing any, anybody can do to themselves you are dying inside because you see i don't support violence i don't support abuse but you see abuse that you're being abused physically is much better than the abuse emotionally. Why? Because the physical one, people can see evidence and know where to help you from. But my dear, when you talk of emotional abuse, you are dying inside. People have no idea of anything you're going through. Even when you talk, they just say, ah, maybe she's looking for a way to come out. Maybe he's looking for an excuse to leave the girl. No. You understand? I don't support violence. I don't support abuse in any way. But I'm just ex trying to explain. Now she's killing herself in the village. Dying in silence. Every day is like the, the, the videos she makes. She keeps looking worn out the more. 
calling her husband her, her husband all sorts of names. As I'm like this, yes, I'm a divorced a, a, a woman. I remarried again, yes. But I can never, whether online, no, whether out of line, no, people that know me know me. I can never open my mouth to call the father of my children. I can never call him rubbish names. For what now? For waiting. That's the father of my children. We are not together. Does not stop him from being their father. So she, that's a very senseless decision to take. That's a very senseless step to, to take. That's a senseless decision to make. You pack your things in your husband's absence and left. Why did you leave your matrimonial home? Because my, uh, they brought a girl and they said it's my husband's uh, child from his past relationship. Sometimes it does happen. You have no business with his past. If he chooses to tell you, fine. His past, okay, the girl he had affair with in the past, he didn't marry her. And now he chose to tie the knot with you. A child comes up and you will get upset. Normal, normal, normal. You will get upset. You will get upset and you talk things over with him. He will apologize and you move on. Madam. So wait till you they talk. What has Chijoke done? What has your husband? What has he done? I mean, I'm even, even as I said, Chijoke self, get as the thing do me for body. It's an error to even call your husband like that.